embedded development can be a challenging and rewarding field. What's important is choosing the right programming language for the job. So, without much ado, let's dive into the top three languages for embedded development. C is one of the most popular programming languages used in embedded systems because of its efficiency, low-level access to hardware, and portability. When it comes to efficiency, C is an excellent choice for embedded systems because it generates machine code that is directly executable by the target hardware. This means, C programs can run faster and use less memory than programs written in other languages. C is also highly portable, meaning that code written in C can be compiled to run on many different platforms. This makes it easier to develop software for embedded systems that may use different microcontrollers or architectures. However, there are some downsides to using C for embedded systems. C can be complex to learn, and it requires a deep understanding of programming concepts such as pointers and memory management. These concepts can be challenging for new programmers to understand. In addition, C does not offer built-in memory management, meaning that programmers must manually allocate and deallocate memory. This can be error-prone and can lead to bugs in the software. Finally, C is not known for its security features. Since C allows low-level access to hardware, it can be difficult to ensure the security of an embedded system written in C. Developers must take extra precautions to protect against vulnerabilities such as buffer overflows. Now let's talk about an example code snippet in C for blinking an LED using ESPIDF. In this code, we first include the necessary libraries and define the app main function, which is the entry point for the program. Next, we select GPIO pin 2 and set its direction to output using the GPIO pad select GPIO and GPIO set direction functions. Finally, we enter a loop where we set the pin low. Delay for one second using the VTask delay function, set the pin high, delay for one second again, and repeat indefinitely. MicroPython is a version of the popular Python programming language that has been optimized to run on microcontrollers and embedded systems. One of the key advantages of MicroPython is its simplicity and ease of use. The syntax and structure of MicroPython code are very similar to Python, which is a language that many programmers are already familiar with. Another significant advantage of MicroPython is its built-in memory management. MicroPython includes a garbage collector that automatically manages memory allocation and deal location, making it easier for developers to avoid memory-related bugs and issues. However, MicroPython's simplicity and ease of use come at a cost. Because it is an interpreted language, MicroPython can be slower than compiled languages like C. This can be a disadvantage in embedded systems that require real-time or high-performance processing. Additionally, MicroPython does not provide low-level access to hardware, which is essential in embedded systems programming. Instead, it relies on libraries and modules to interface with hardware components. This can make it more challenging to develop low-level functionality compared to languages like C. Let's take a look at an example code snippet in MicroPython for blinking an LED using the ESPIDF framework. In this code, we first import the necessary modules and define the LED pin as an output pin. Next, we enter a loop where we turn the LED on, wait for one second using the time.sleep function, turn the LED off, and wait for another second before repeating. Rust is a modern programming language that has been gaining popularity in the embedded systems community due to its emphasis on memory safety and high performance. Rust's design includes features like zero-cost abstractions, safe memory management, and thread safety that make it an excellent choice for developing embedded systems software. One of the key advantages of Rust is its focus on memory safety. Rust's ownership and borrowing system ensure that developers can write code that is both fast and safe preventing common issues like null pointers and buffer overflows. Additionally, Rust is a compiled language which can provide performance benefits over interpreted languages like MicroPython. However, Rust's focus on memory safety and low-level access come at a cost. Rust's syntax and structure can be more challenging to learn and work with than simpler languages like MicroPython. Additionally, Rust's compiler can be more strict and demanding, requiring developers to write more precise and accurate code. Let's take a look at an example code snippet in Rust for blinking an LED using the ESPIDF framework. 
In this code, we first import the necessary modules and define the LED pin as an output pin. Next, we enter a loop where we turn the LED on, wait for one second using the cortex delay function, turn the LED off and wait for another second before repeating. In conclusion, we have explored three programming languages for embedded systems, C, MicroPython, and Rust. Each language has its own advantages and disadvantages that make it suitable for different types of embedded systems projects.